guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video so today I have a very exciting video I do very few makeup and beauty hauls but this was a requested video and it's been a really long time since I did one so I thought I'm gonna show you everything that I carry in my makeup bag and I feel like that this is going to be no and I feel like that this is going to be one important video because a lot of people do ask me Ki, what what are the things that you actually need to carry in a makeup bag so this is a makeup bag that i have uh, with me uh, this is also good for beginners and this is also good for people who like to do a full blown uh, you know makeup thing um, like i do everything but still i keep it subtle this is very basic very minimal everything is from drugstore everything is kind of real like i'm a normal person so i know the needs not everybody can afford really high-end stuff so this is going to be a simple uh, normal um, you know makeup kit for some people this is too much literally for some people cartel and lipstick are the only things but if you like to have everything and you do the entire routine of makeup then this uh, video is going to be for you because these kind of videos really helped me to uh, reach to this stage where I am right now so if you wanted this kind of a video then here it is for you now first of all let me talk about the makeup bag so this was a pouch that came in one of my bags I purchased from Shein and this is the only makeup bag that I have um, since such a long time so this actually can hold a lot of stuff and all the products that I'm showing in this particular video are actually holy grail for me these are things I really 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 use and I'm a die-hard fan of so I'm not just going to show you stuff I will also give you mini reviews so just in case if you wanted a review on a particular thing or if you had mind as to which eyeshadow kit you should go for no eyebrow kit or which eyeshadow uh, you know uh, palette you should go for then probably you will have solutions over here let's quickly get started so when I open it I'll try and go in order but I cannot really promise that let me first begin with moisturizer so the first thing which is very important uh, for a good base is to actually keep or cleanse the skin keep the skin clean or cleanse the skin and then followed by a moisturizer this is the one that I recently discovered I think I've spoken about it so this is a moisturizer by minimalist it's a very good moisturizer because it is really good for sensitive skin so if you have sensitive skin uh, uh, and if you do not like to use moisturizers that have a lot of fragrance in them or it, if it irritates you in certain way minimalist is a good option to go for it has Seppi Calm 3% plus oat moisturizer and it's very very soothing and it's a very light moisturizer even if you have very oily skin probably this will work in the summers but if you have no if you have very oily skin this will work if you have a very dry skin then this will work in the summers it's a very good moisturizer to go for and this is priced at rupees 349 of course I'm going to leave the list and link of everything in the description box below so I will not tell you the price of each and everything but yes um, um, you know to start or begin with I'll just tell you that everything is available on discount so you can definitely check out the description box for the links to get the things in discount everything is available on Amazon by the way it's a very good moisturizer it does not have any fragrance or anything it just does what it says so that is the first thing second up I have just incorporated this routine uh, this was not in my routine previously but I have actually incorporated um, some um, under eye cream uh, even though I use under eye creams at night as well but also when I'm doing my makeup I like to go for an under eye cream and the one that I really like I mean I've been using it I really like it this is Sebamed anti-aging Q10 lifting eye cream and I just like to have a layer of something moisturizing um, you know around my eyes uh, so I always keep a backup of this one i also use one by i think professional o3 something like that uh, but i definitely use an under eye cream after applying moisturizer so after using that eye cream the primer that i really love is this one i have uh, started using it i think two months back i believe and i really like it this is maybelline fit me matte plus polish this is for normal to oily skin so it comes in different kind of variants the one that i have is matte matte one but there's also one for glowy skin I'm, i'll try and leave the link of all of those in the description box below uh, not just that it does the job well but it is very affordable as well that is something i really appreciate about it and it actually keeps my skin kind of matte i have an oily skin and i'm not really mm, fond of very blingy and very glowy sort of a look on an every day to day basis so that's why I like to go for it and I think it does the job pretty well so yeah that is the primer that I really like to keep and this is quite handy as well it's very small it's very tiny 
this one I believe was for, for around 400 rupees I'm not really sure so after priming my skin well I go with the concealer now as much as I love Maybelline's you know um, age rewind concealer I am absolutely in love with that I recently discovered the L'Oreal Paris concealers and so far these are one of the best concealers I've tried I also like the Swiss Beauty concealer but somewhere down the line I feel like they do not last on my skin that long and no matter what anybody says any concealer is going to crease on you including Swiss Beauty I have seen so many videos of Swiss Beauty concealer that doesn't crease or anything it's not like that it, it, it definitely creases but I really like the L'Oreal infallible one better than the Swiss Beauty one and it gives so much more coverage and uh, it lasts a very long time so that's why the first shade that I have is for uh, what color correction because I have a lot of uh, you know um, darkness under my eyes genetics and then pulling on lighters of course that's my fault as well this concealer is L'Oreal Paris infallible full wear more than concealer so for color correction I go for the shade 317 which is almond and then just to bring a bit of you know highlight and brightness under the eyes and in my t-zone I go for this shade which is 314 beige so these are two concealers and I promise you guys these are one of the best concealers if you've not tried and if you're looking for a concealer change or if you're or if you're thinking of beginning with a concealer in your makeup routine go with this one it has a really nice wand it is a very satisfying wide broad wand and the applicator is really good and then of course the consistency of the product the coverage that it gives and the duration that it actually lasts for is amazing I tried the price everywhere Amazon was giving the best deals I went uh, you know with Amazon and these are two shades that I have 317 and 314 absolutely love this concealer so far after concealer I like to go with the foundation and the foundation that I go for is this one I've spoken about this particular foundation so much that I feel like that it has almost lost its value but trust me this is the only foundation that I use and I have been in so much love with this one if you have a budget a if you want full coverage B um, easily accessible C and a lot of other factors you would definitely want to go with this one I cannot really afford MAC or something I would love to try Charlotte Tilbury I would love to try MAC I would love to try all those high-end foundations but if you're on a budget a normal person who's not a beauty guru or something you know I just need makeup for my YouTube videos and for you know day-to-day -day, uh, stuff then this is a very good long-lasting foundation the one that I have is this one is L'Oreal Paris 24 hour up to 24 hour infallible pro matte demi matte finish air light oil free uh, foundation I'm in the shade 105 which is natural beige the best part of this foundation is that it doesn't feel like very cakey or foundation like uh, first coat is going to give you a medium coverage two coats will give you almost full coverage this lasts pretty well if you kind of set it with powder if you have oily skin of course foundation will come off that's for sure it is after all a cosmetic product but if you just you know apply a little bit of a powder it's going to work really well so after the foundation it is very important to set your face and I go for this powder however I'm also a fan of the Maybelline's loose powder that is also one option but uh, if I'm on the go or sometimes you know okay this is let let me just accept this is a makeup bag that I keep while I'm traveling if I'm traveling and this is also the makeup bag that I generally have not everybody is blessed with you know uh, makeup drawers or a entire makeup room I have just this kit with me and a couple of more brushes <laughs> that's about it so this is my holy grail this is my entire makeup room uh, honestly so uh, recently I discovered this foundation I don't think you can see it on the camera right now because it's kind of a reflective uh, thing top so this is L'Oreal Paris true match powder I'm in the shade um, uh, golden beige which is G3 slash W3 the best part about this powder is that it gives slight bit of a coverage and it actually uh, you know mattifies all the things so I use it under my eyes and I use it on my face I just you know uh, take a fluffy brush and just apply it and the best part it also has a mirror so that's all good there so yeah this is the powder that I actually use to set my foundation after setting my face I like to do my eyebrows I also had a kit which is the makeup revolution kit it's a really good I mean I'm done with that but I really really like makeup revolutions eyebrow kit I have two products so depending on your comfort level you can go for any this is a Maybelline's uh, one this is by Maybelline so on one end it has um, 
this kind of a you know a flattened uh, brow product with which of course you can shape your eyebrows and fill in any uh, sparse gaps and on the other end there is a spoolie so of course you can brush uh, and blend the product and everything will be seamless and beautiful so that is one next off late i discovered this one this is l'oreal paris uh, brow artist genius kit and i am in the shade brown i'm not really sure dark medium to brown medium to dark something like that so it comes with a mirror which is very very handy and it's a very good mirror then there are two shades there's one in a light brown thing then there's one in a ashy brown thing this is the one that i'm using currently it is very good and it comes with this small little brush so you have a brush with which you can you know shape your eyebrows and fill in the sparse gaps and on the other end there's a tiny spoolie but it does the job well even if you're not carrying any spoolie it is better to have even the slightest thing or a spoolie kind of a thing so that you can brush it out so this one i really really like i mean uh, the quality of the brush and the spoolie could have been better but it is a very good brow product i mean i would highly recommend it not so much of a fan of this one maybelline one but i really like the l'oreal one but i would like to know which is your favorite brow product because i'm really looking for investing into one because i really like doing my eyebrows so for eyeshadow I think I have previously mentioned that I like to go for this palette. This is the Maybelline's Mini City palette. I think they launched it a year and a half back or something like that. And this is in the shade Rooftop Bronzes. One thing that I really like about this palette is that you can easily go from a day to a nighttime look because it has all the shades. It has a beautiful highlighter shade as well. So I just use it as a highlighter as well on my face. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then it has a beautiful golden shade, my favorite. a beautiful bronze shade a light brown a dark brown and this is one which i'm not really sure what the shade is but it's a beautiful shade again and all the shade are shimmery but not so shimmery so i can use them in the crease line as well like for example i use this in my crease and then i use um, this shade as a topper and then blend it out and it just gives a beautiful beautiful look because the golden and the bronze is really shimmery and pretty you can use it for any event or function as well and if you just lightly dab it on your eyes during the day it just gives a very nice sparkly a little shiny a little shimmery beautiful eyes so it just works so well um, for day and night time look this is one palette that i would highly recommend i don't know why a lot of people don't talk about it or if they do i'm not aware but i really really like it i mean maybelline's um, i shadow kit i'm not really a very big fan of honestly but this one has changed the game so i really really like this eyeshadow palette after eyeshadow i like to use an eyeliner and for eyeliner i like to go for a kajal so a kajal does the job both ways i can apply it as a kajal and i can also apply it as an eyeliner for now i'm wearing a liquid eyeliner which is by maybelline the yellow bottle uh, but um, generally i use a kajal as my eyeliner as well because i don't really use a lot of kajal in my this thing tear line no lower lash line so um i like to go with this one this is lakme's iconic eye kajal and this is really really good and after kajal i like to go for a um mascara but before mascara i definitely use a um, you know eyelash color and for this color bar eyelash curler now there's a slight bit of story behind this before buying this one i was into vega eyelash curlers and i know that they are very very popular if you go on to amazon probably they are one of the most selling um eyelash curlers but i got two of those and both of them died on me i don't know i think there was something wrong with the curler or something and then i decided that i'm going to invest a little bit more money and get myself a good quality one i bought this i think 3 or 3 and a half years back or maybe four years back i'm not really sure and since then i've not purchased any other eyelash curler this is by color bar i paid around 3 or 400 for this not really a huge difference um uh, from vega vega one was for around 150 this for 300 something double the price but it has served so well so i would definitely recommend uh investing in a good eyelash curler if you want one love this curler so i got that sometimes i forget using it so but yes most of the times i do use it and it does make a difference and the current recent favorite mascara of mine is this one this is by maybelline and this is called as the falsies lash lift waterproof mascara this is such a good mascara first of all it actually 
lifts up your lashes which i think is a good thing i have been a fan of the l'oreal's um, lash paradise mascara um then uh, maybelline something you know there are few mascaras that i like in this world and this is one of them so this is affordable as well compared to other mascaras by l'oreal which is like really good uh this is for around 450 460 under 500 rupees you'll get this mascara it's a really really good mascara i've seen a lot of uh, you know youtubers talk about it and i was very happy because i discovered it and they discovered it and we had a consensus i was like wow i also have developed a taste and i know what's good and what is not so this is a really good mascara if you're looking for one or if you're changing to switch or if you've just begun using mascara try giving this a go it actually does what it says it actually lifts up the eyelashes um, not really so much a falsy but yes it just lengthens and lifts up the eyelashes which is like good so that is that and after that guys so off late I've started to bronze my face a little bit and for that I go for this one this is Rimmel's uh, you know natural bronzer the writing has gone off but Rimmel is available on a lot of websites you can definitely use it but there are a lot of other bronzers as well you can go for whichever you want I just like it I don't use a bronzer just as a bronzer but sometimes also as a base for my eyeshadow or my crease line and then moving on to blush blush is something i really like i mean i just like using blush i don't know why i feel like it just gives a little bit of a color um, to the face and it's always good so i go with this one this is maybelline fit me uh, blush and this is in the shade wine it's really beautiful especially for medium to dark skin tone it's a very good blush and it just gives a very nice hint of uh, color onto your face it doesn't last very long though so you have to build it up or kind of retouch it but that's a good sign for a blusher it should not be very long lasting and it should not be very pigmented and this is exactly what it is it is not very pigmented and it is not going to last so you will not have clown cheeks really but you'll have you know just enough uh, to look flushed and beautiful and healthy so a blusher so in the beginning i forgot to show you guys the lip balm but, but even before i moisturize my face i use a lip balm and this is the himalaya lip balm this is very affordable and uh, but this is very good. 30 40 rupees ka lip balm hai ye, 35 ka. But it just moisturizes your lips. It's really good. Himalaya lip balm. So I used that. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. I'm sorry. So after blush, of course, you need a highlighter. For highlighter, I use this palette. So I told you guys that this is the uh, City Mini palette by Maybelline. And there is a shade in here, which is the lightest shade. So this shade works really good as a highlighter. And I just use it with this smaller brush by real techniques and this is a setting brush but this is very precise so it works great as a highlighter brush first of all it fits into this pan because it's a very small pan and then it's very precise so if i have to kind of highlight this area or my cheeks so yes i use this palette for my highlight as well and this is the brush that i use it for so after everything is done i like to go for the lipstick i i use the lipstick in the end and the two lipsticks that i carry forever with me is this one i'm not so much of a fan of really bright colors i go for nudes all the time even if it is an event or a function or whatever so the first lipstick that i have is this one this is i think brunch nude by lacme absolute this is lacme absolute's brunch nude and this is the shade number 301 it's a very very beautiful color it's going to suit every uh, skin tone this is a beautiful color it smells so good and just gives you a perfect beautiful nude uh, color the consistency is also very good it is not like very matte it is not drying matte but it is a very velvety beautiful mousse like consistency and the next uh, you know lipstick that i really like is this one this is by l'oreal paris and this is in the shade 310 no judgment this is slightly darker than this one the lacme absolute one is slightly lighter and this is slightly darker so, so if it's like night time i would probably go with the l'oreal paris one and if it is a, a day event or something i would go with the lacme absolute one uh, both are nude shades in my opinion and i would highly recommend these i mean there's so many lipsticks that are coming in the market so i'm pretty sure that we all are confused as to which one to buy but this is something that i really like but if you want to splurge a little bit you can go with max meher very beautiful nude world is beautiful color by mac so that is the one that i have that's that's that, that one i have in a mini one and then of course once you've applied the makeup of course you need to remove that as well 
in order to remove a makeup it is important to keep a remover and some cotton pads in your makeup bag as it is just because if you're traveling if you have everything on and then you want to take it off then it's a hassle so always keep a small bottle of oil or any makeup remover that you like for me I have begun to use Johnson's baby oil I've been using Johnson's baby oil forever or if I'm at home I like to use virgin coconut oil for removing my makeup so one Johnson's baby oil with some cotton pads a must in everybody's makeup bag so guys those were all the things that I keep makeup wise in my makeup bag but my makeup bag is never ever complete without perfume and I feel like no matter how beautiful you make your face look it is very important to add a touch of a good fragrance probably behind your ears somewhere here at the pulse point and so that you smell all good and uh, delicious so I keep mini perfumes in my makeup bag uh, this is the one that I've recently added this is by Iba Halal Flo floral fantasy one holy grail perfume would be this one this is Versace's bright crystal but I'm done with it it's a very very beautiful fragrance especially for summer and spring and smells so nice so recently I bought a bigger bottle of this one let me know if you want a review of Versace's bright crystal or not uh, I would love to review it for you this is Versace's yellow diamond it's a very beautiful fragrance the best part about this one is that it's really small and tiny but it is very long lasting so you just need a dab literally and uh, it smells really nice it's like very lemony and fresh and very uh, summery sort of a fragrance and I always keep my perfumes in a ziplock bag just in case if there's any mishap it is only the ziplock bag that would be spoiled but yes I would also like to talk about some beauty tools so of course none of this makeup would be possible if you're not carrying foundation brush or something of course you can use your hands to blend your foundation but I think having a tool is very important so four brushes that is absolutely important for me are these four brushes these are all by real techniques I'm going to give you the link of these in the description box below I got it recently but I have the older version of real techniques as well and I absolutely swear by real techniques brushes one brush that I'm obsessed with uh, is this one recently and this is the expert face brush I also have the Purana Wala expert face brush your techniques now with that orange handle something um, it's a very very good brush first of all I use it for my foundation to blend my foundation I also use it for my concealer it's a very good shape if you can see it's very dirty I'm sorry about that but yes I wash it every week and I also like to blend my concealer using this brush so it does the job well I just pinch it to kind of blend anything or the highlighter on my nose and stuff on my cheeks no on my chin under the eyes and everywhere it's a beautiful 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 brush does the job so well because it's very dense at the same time it is very soft as well and it doesn't absorb the product as much as a beauty sponge would so it kind of gives high coverage and I need coverage next up I use this powder brush no this is called as a blush brush but I use it for my powder so powder is important it's a fluffy very very soft brush and it does the job really well I use the same brush just like to swirl it at the back of my hand to just clean it or on a tissue paper and use the same brush for my blush then of course I did show you that I use this setting brush which is actually meant for setting for my um, highlighter and then there is this expert concealer brush even though this is a concealer brush which is very precise I like to use it as a, a blending brush for my eyeshadow if you want to use a shimmery shade in the center of your eyelid then always go for your finger I reach for my ring finger and just dab the you know product on my eyelid using a finger for the topper actually gives a very sparkly and very beautiful look and this one I just used to kind of blend my um, crease or the crease uh, shadow so yes these are the four brushes that I absolutely need apart from that of course if you need more brushes you can definitely add on to this one but I have tried to keep it minimal as minimal as possible without actually omitting out any products I have not included a makeup setting spray because I don't use a makeup setting spray I feel like at least if that's one step I can skip uh, I, I skip that but if you want to use a makeup setting spray that could be the last thing in this particular makeup bag for reference I really like Wet n Wild's makeup setting spray and NYX uh, makeup setting spray so that is it in this video of mine guys I really hope that you find this video useful if you feel that there's anything that is missing in this video of mine do let me know in the comment section below also let me know what is that one particular thing that you absolutely love to carry in your makeup bag which is not in my bag so just let me know that and thank you so much for watching this video I will see you in my next video very soon 
and of course as I did mention the list and the link of all the products will be in the description box below and yes guys a humble request if you have not already subscribed to my channel please uh, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel be a part of this beautiful family I would love to have you here also click on that bell icon that way you'll be notified about my future videos and obviously it does not cost anything to be subscribed to my channel and leave your comment in the comment section below I love reading your comments and I would definitely get back to you so thank you so much for watching this video I'll see you in my next video very soon till then take very good care of yourself and I love you all so much bye guys bye